Hey. Look, I'm not at your beck and call every time you text. Well, better way to prove that would have been not to come. <laughs> Yet here I am again, telling you to stay away. You did that last night, but here I am. So what does that tell you? Well, you're not deaf, so I'm going to have to conclude you're stupid. Crazy, maybe. And you know what for? Power crazed is all you are. Needing to force people to do what you want. <laughs> no one forced you yesterday in there. No one's forcing you now. I can't do this, Mark. Not again. You're already doing it. Come inside. I want to remind you of why we can't say no. Harriet? Are you two? Oh, Mark's uh, an old friend. Yeah, we're just friends. Reminding you of why you can't say no. Sounds a bit more than friends to me. Please, leave. It's Malone, right? Yeah. Detective Inspector Malone, to you. You came to my farm when my bull got slaughtered. That's right. How are you, livestock, Mrs Dingle? Get out of here. You lost your mind? I knew him way back, on the force. Uh, I mean, only vaguely. Uh, been giving him uh, some info. Right. Well, Kane reckons he's a bad apple. Oh. Didn't realise Kane was the go-to man for police reviews. Well, he certainly gets a thumbs up from you. It's just what he's like. I'm surprised he didn't slap me on the backside as oh, well. Come on, Harriet. I heard what he was saying, and you look flustered. I wasn't born yesterday. He caught me by surprise, that's all. Right. Because where I'm standing, you look like someone having an affair. I thought you and Will were the real deal. We are. It's complicated. Well, these things tend to be. Look, I'm in no position to judge. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just someone who walked in and saw. You know this much. You might as well know it all. We had a thing, years ago. I should never have gone near him back then. And now? I've messed up. But it's over. That was me ending it. Didn't look like it. I tried to finish it yesterday. Well, you don't know how that went. Well, I think I can guess. He draws me in, Moira. That sounds so weak, but... That was me ending it, really. I can't bear the thought of him being round here again. So how come he's back on the scene at all? Kane was right. He's not just a bad apple, though. He's the bad apple tree where all the other rotten stuff grows. When Will went to prison, I thought that was the end of my investigation. Little did I know that Mark... was the bent copper running things on the inside. Oh, Harriet, have you completely lost your mind? What, did he hold a gun to your head? Oh, come on, you know that men like Malone, all, all they know is trouble. I, mean, I thought you were smart, I thought you had morals. We all make mistakes. So why get back in touch with him now? I didn't. He found out Will was out of prison, found out he was settled with his daughter and a grandchild. Oh, so he's blackmailing him, threatening him? He's put all sorts of stuff through that garage. The garage? What, you need to tell Kane. Well, I do. Kane knew. Kane more than you, didn't he? But for what it's worth, he didn't want to get involved. Hang on, Moira. You can't really blame Kane. Oh, yes, I can. But don't you worry, there's plenty to spare for you. My family were under threat and you knew. So were mine. Dawn, Lucas. And my bull that was slaughtered. That was him, wasn't it? Sending Kim some kind of message. Maybe. Coming into my house like he was helping. That is the behaviour of a psychopath. And that's why you shouldn't mess with him. Moira, I've told him. I know what it looked like, but I have. He's gone. It's over. With people like Kim, it's never over. That was a bit over the top. Why are you here? We didn't finish what we started. Yes, we did. We finished it yesterday. And we finished it again five minutes ago. And just because you seem to need me to, I'm finishing it again. Go away. 